This is a 2005 Honda Civic Hybrid. I'm going uh, to show the people how to check the ECM in this car to read the trouble codes. First of all, I will show you what it is doing. I start up the engine and here it is showing check engine light. Okay. I turn it off. Okay. First of all, I will show you where is the location. This is the steering wheel of the car. And you look under the dashboard and here here it is the connection for the ECM alright I'm going to hook it up you need the uh, OBD2 scanner and this is the connection and I hook it up here okay it's already hooked up and I will turn the ignition on here it is asking me read the codes okay let me sit down in the comfort way and here I press enter it's telling me it's working attempting to communicate with the vehicle please wait the reason it came in because there are some trouble codes some sensors they are going bad it could be a warning and it could be bad but we have to check it out so here it's telling me one of two the first one it is PO335 and it is a cranking position sensor a circuit malfunction cranking position sensor it is located uh, next to the uh, pulley on the crankcase and uh, when uh, you have to remove it or install it you have to be sure that the engine is not running and you take it out slowly then you install the new one. Some vehicles uh, you have to use filler gauge because it uh, to do it. Some of them they are general motors. Okay, let me see what's the trouble cause on the second one. And here it shows up and down. I go to down. It is showing PO117, which is engine coolant temperature circuit low low input okay so what I will do first of all you know I will try it here is the bottom I press erase so I will try to clear the code and after I clear the code I run the engine if the lights it comes on that means the sensors they are bad you know but sometimes you can clear the the trouble codes and you will have no problem but just in case it comes on then you have to change the sensors it's telling me it's working I'm trying to clear the first code it is a cloudy day okay
Still waiting. Okay. Now it's showing command send zero codes remain. Press enter to continue. I press enter. It's communicating to see. It shows it pass. All right. Let's see if we start up the engine. If the en uh, the light it comes on or not. Earlier today, the car wasn't uh, running, and uh, she has to use the triple A to tow it from Los Angeles to uh, where uh, I live. And uh, with my intelligence, I was able to start up the, the car. And I already saw it has a check engine light. There was some uh, bad connection on uh, on the fuse box. Usually it takes uh, about three minutes for the engine to go into a closed loop. Closed loop uh, to bring the uh, engine to the right temperature and everything is uh, working perfect. On uh, this side it is uh, telling me the gas gauge where it is, the temperature gauge still cold which is over here here C cold, H hot I'm still uh, running the engine on high RPM, 2500. Certain vehicles, you don't try to go on a high RPM, such like Peugeot 505 or uh, Vo uh, Volvo, some Volvos and uh, some BMW 740. They have Zav's transmission, you can ruin the transmission. While the engine it is running on high RPM, the pump it won't work. And unless it is on gear, you are driving. And that's the reason you can ruin it. Now here we start seeing the temperature gauge is going high. Just trying to bring it to the closed loop. Then the computer will be able to get the right reading on uh, oxygen sensor, cooling temperature sensor, cranking chef, uh, cranking sensor. Maybe one more minute or less and the engine will be on a closed loop. Okay, it looks like it is on a closed loop. The trouble codes it didn't come on.